Sherman's Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock says the NATO alliance is committed to the principle of collective defence. That means an attack on one member is an attack on all of its members. Baerbock made the comments on a tour of the three Baltic states. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania were once part of the Soviet Union but are now members of the European Union and NATO. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has thrust them onto the front line of the West's standoff with the Kremlin. Like Ukraine, the Baltic states also share borders with Russia and its ally Belarus and are fearful of future Russian aggression. Baerbock's latest stop on her tour of the region has brought her to the Estonian capital, Tallinn. There, in a press conference with her Estonian counterpart, Baerbock said Germany has no taboos when it comes to delivering weapons to Ukraine. No taboos uh, for us with regard to armed uh, vehicles and other weaponry which they are needing. That's why we are supporting other uh, partners uh, in a, a circle uh, of exchange, Ringtausch uh, in German, um, to, to see that those uh, partners who are delivering right now out of their stocks, that we will uh, fill the gaps because they can deliver Soviet uh, materials where training is not uh, needed currently. More, let's bring in our political correspondent Hans Brandt here. Hans, the German foreign minister there saying uh, there are, quote, no taboos for Berlin uh, regarding weapons deliveries to Ukraine. So why isn't Germany delivering what the Ukrainians are asking for? Yes, that's the question that's being asked uh, here in Germany also in a very intense manner, including by uh, members of uh, uh, Chancellor Scholz's uh, own government, coalition government. The, the current answer is that Germany simply does not have this equipment at the moment available to give away, as it were. Um, the fact is that the German army uh, itself is in need of a large amount of equipment. Uh, there has been very little money spent on the German army in the last few decades uh, because one did not see the need for this. And now that the need is uh, so urgent, uh, the German army itself is saying that the equipment that it has available, uh, it needs itself uh, for spares and for its NATO commitments and so on. So what the Germans are now doing, and they're saying that they have uh, agreed on this uh, in two weeks of discussions with their NATO partners, is that some of the NATO partners from the east of Europe who have old Russian or Soviet equipment in their arsenals, and we're talking here mainly about Slovenia, it appears, they will be uh, delivering tanks and other heavy equipment to Ukraine, which the Ukrainians will be able to use immediately because it's the same kind of equipment that they have themselves in any case. And Germany will assist by providing maintenance for this uh, material, by providing ammunition um, and pro by providing some training that might be necessary. And at the same time, Germany will, will recompense those countries that are giving away their equipment with new German equipment, but that will be a much longer term process. So indirect military support, it sounds like. Um, the German foreign minister also said that Germany, you know, noted that Germany's weapon stockpiles are low, as you pointed out. Uh, that means you know, if Germany had weapons that it could deliver, it would still take months. What, what can Germany, or what can Ukraine rather, realistically expect from Berlin in the short term, Hans? Well, the short answer to that is money. Um, it, it, Germany is saying that it is going to uh, spend another 1 billion euros on military assistance to Ukraine, and it has obviously uh, emphasized in recent weeks that it has already spent a lot of money uh, on uh, financial and on humanitarian assistance to Ukraine. So an extra billion now for the Ukrainians to be able to purchase equipment not only in Germany but elsewhere, and Germany will pay for that then. Uh, but Germany will also provide things such as ammunition, for instance. Uh, but the heavy equipment that the Ukraine is looking for, the tanks, the artillery, the anti-aircraft systems and so on, that is something Germany cannot supply at the moment because it needs it itself. Uh, at the same time, there will be a longer term perspective to this. And this is something that the, the foreign minister has also been emphasizing. While the battle is going on, she says one needs to think also about the next few months and even years. And in that perspective, Germany will be providing more modern equipment that might require, require a longer term uh, delivery and would require more training on the side of the Germans, more modern equipment. So there is a long term perspective that Germany will enter into long term commitments to Ukraine. Hans, thank you very much. Our political correspondent, Hans Brandt.